oh, so vocology is a relatively new term, you know, it's, it's, and, and I like it because it, it's very specific. It's talking about voice science and it's one word instead of two. And I like Ingo a lot. And I, I think it's wonderful to, to have this new field of study. Um, so, but it's, it's relatively new. And I'm, I'm wondering like, is there like a cultural pushback against the word? Are people using it more? Oh. Like, like, where does it, where does it fit for you? Well, so if vocology is the, the study of voice habilitation and rehabilitation, like, uh, I mean, I think hearing and perception completely locates itself within vocology. Mm -hmm. I, I think, again, if the ear is a co-creator mm -hmm. of the sound, then anything having to do with the sound, we also have to talk about the ear. Mm -hmm. um, I think if I, if I write voice science, like as a, hey, here's some voice scientists who say X in my dissertation, like it's really more, those are people who either by philosophy or just by the scope of the, the literature that I'm quoting are not taking as comprehensive a view. Like that, that would be my guess. Okay. That would be my guess. Because, you know, if you read Vocology or Principles of Voice Production, like, Ingo and, and Kitty, like they talk about um, hearing, they talk mm -hmm. about the ear, they talk about, you know, audiology, even as like the word was the, the term that they used to say like, oh, we should call this vocology because it's about the voice rather than, yep. you know, solely about, I think I, I'd sort of define voice scientists as one aspect of the literature mm -hmm. or what voice scientists do as one aspect of the literature than what voice pedagogues do is another aspect of the literature just like ge generally a lot of the stuff I wrote in the dissertation I'm I'm interested in trying to push some ideas into like not necessarily the science literature but just vocal pedagogy textbooks that we use yeah like that that's the level that I'm thinking on so